Happening now, be thankful if you're in a warm spot because the temperatures are falling, but more than 100 people who need some help to stay warm do have some shelter. Church leaders went out in their buses and offered a place to stay tonight. And Channel 2's Carl Willis, live in Cobb County. And Carl, two churches partnered to help those in need. And now they're hoping even more churches will get involved. And right now it's lights out and they're inside watching a movie, getting some much needed rest. But a pastor tells me the only way to make a real impact is for other churches to join this effort. There are around 150 people here who are safe from the cold, but there are so many others who are on the streets tonight. We people trying to save people. Amen. Amen. And Mount Bethel United Methodist Church is doing it one bustling and one warm bed at a time. When the temperature dips below freezing, they jump into action to bring folks like Rorica's Gates in from the cold. With, with the wind chill, I believe they said it was going to be probably 10 degrees. So, nah, it, it's, it's terrible for everybody out here right now. If it's below 25 for a certain amount of time, that is, that is important. That's crucial. We do need to go out and we do need to get people off the street. The church stopped at downtown Atlanta outreaches and filled their buses with those in need. They've been waiting here all day to go, so they're real excited about going. But now the pastor says it's not enough to go it alone. He's calling for other churches to join in this effort. And not feeling a sense of pride, but feeling a sense of why don't we try to join together. That, that's really the goal is to allow the churches to come together. So often we don't do what we should do because we're all trying to do our own thing. Johnson Ferry Baptist Church joined in tonight, and the pastor hopes the outreach will only grow from here. We've had deaths in the past that we've learned about people under bridges that have passed away, and, and there's no reason for that, no reason at all. Uh, if, if we have the capability to house people here, we will certainly do that. Before you can help somebody, you got to keep them alive and give them a chance. And, so and the missions minister says what better day than MLK Day to do something good for your neighbor and for your community. Point live in Cobb County, Carl Willis, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat.